Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today is day 71 of our 100 days of knit stitches. And today's stitch is another eyelet stitch and is completely different than our other one uh, that we did way back in the beginning of our 100 day project. I don't remember what number it was. Um, this is a four row repeat. You'll wanna cast on in multiples of four stitches. And it definitely, it's just a different. And I had a hard time whenever I first started doing it, but once I got, um, saw the pattern, I, it was easy to remember. So let's get started here. So the first two stitches we're going to knit. And then we're gonna start our repeat. So we're going to yarn over twice and knit four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna repeat that. That is our repeat. Knit, uh, yarn over twice and knit four. So yarn over, yarn over, knit one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, yarn over, knit one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna yarn over, yarn over, and knit two. Oops. Knit one, knit two. And then we should have 24 stitches on our needles. So I cast on 16 to begin with. So every four stitches you add two. I'm gonna make a note of that. All right, so row two, we're gonna purl two together. And then where we had those two yarn overs in the previous row, we're gonna knit the first one and purl the second one. And then where we knit the four stitches on the previous, really, previous row, we're gonna purl two together Purl two together. And then that is our repeat. So we're gonna knit and purl. So see how I brought that yarn over real quick before I dropped that other yarn over? It can be tricky. Then we're gonna purl two together, purl two together. Knit one, purl one. I like patterns like this where I can see from the previous row, I know what my stitches are gonna be, which doesn't happen as often as I would like. And then we're gonna purl those two, last two together. And then we should have 16 stitches, the original 16 that we started with. So row three is gonna be similar to row one, we're just gonna offset it a little bit. So we have staggering eyelets. So we're gonna start with a yarn over on the first stitch. And I kind of do it backwards rather than picking it like that. I go that way so I have a kind of an increased stitch because it's the first stitch. So then we're gonna knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna have a double yarn over just like we did in row one. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, yarn over, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, yarn over, one, two, three, four. And since we had one increase at the beginning, we're gonna have one increase at the end. And it says just a yarn over, but I always tend to lose that stitch whenever it's the last stitch. So I do a backwards loop to increase one stitch for my last yarn over. So that's my little trick on that row. Now row four, we're gonna purl one because it's one of those yarn overs. And then we're gonna purl two together, purl two together. And see here how we're back to the double yarn over. So then we're gonna knit one, purl one. 
and then we're going to purl two together. Oops. Without losing that stitch, we're going to purl two together. Purl two together. I have to keep pushing my stitches along. Then we're going to knit one and purl one. And then we're going to purl two together. Purl two together. Knit one and bring that yarn into the front and purl it. Purl two together. Purl two together. And we purled the first stitch, so we're going to knit this last stitch. And I like to go ahead and twist it. All right, so that is our four row repeat on this staggering eyelet. And I really, I like that. That was a really neat stitch and I like the way they all come together like that. Kind of like a honeycomb. Oops. So today was day 71. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.